Hi, welcome to English 101. I'm going to be in charge of the class this semester. I'm Christian Purvis Aldrich. You can call me Christian, you can call me my full name. You can call me Professor PA, call me Professor. I answer to, uh, to pretty much everything. So this semester, I wanted to take just a couple minutes to orient us and get us started and let you know how I've conceived of the class. So English 101 has really developed for me over the years in how I've taught it and how I've conceptualized it. And I think the main focus for our class is being heard. I think it's a pretty universal experience that we have times in our lives where we want to be understood, we want to get our point across, we, we, we want somebody to understand our point and where we're coming from. So this class is going to be working on ways to help you organize your ideas um, and also how to convey those ideas in ways that will help your listener understand and, and hopefully uh, get, you know, get your point. So sometimes that's going to be the structure. Sometimes that's going to be tone and the way that you say things. Uh, sometimes it's just going to be really honestly the words that you choose. So our semester is working to create this set of skills that you can take with you, not just for the rest of your writing career here at CWI and in your future, but really, you know, what does that look like in the workplace? What does that look like when you're having a conversation with a friend or somebody in your family? So the, I, these really are universal skills. And if you've taken Communications 101, I think you'll see a lot of overlap in the ways that we talk about how to structure your argument. So my advice for you this semester is, first of all, be patient, especially if this is your first time having an online class. For me, uh, I find that anytime I take an online class, it takes me a while to get settled in. It's like visiting a new city. You have to figure out like, where's the grocery store? Where's the post office? In this case, you have to figure out where are the assignments and where's all the material I need and when are things due? So what we've done is arrange things in weekly folders. And if you, uh, if you're looking at this video, you've probably already seen our announcements page, my announcement page. And it tells you where to find things in a little graphic. That's probably a good thing to refer back to. But in essentially what we've done is each week is organized under a weekly folder. When we open that folder, it has an agenda at the top, which lets you know, it's a, it's a great to-do list. It lets you know, boom, boom, boom. Here's, here are all the things that are done this week. Things that are on bold are things which are going to need to be turned in. Most of our due dates this semester are Sunday by midnight. We have a few that because of the timing of peer evaluation it happened in the middle of the week, but we'll give you a heads up. If you're a long-term planner, be sure to check out the syllabus schedule area because it does have a checklist of, of everything that's due each week for the semester. I love a checklist. Um, let's see, what else did I wanna say? Oh, the second thing, so first is be patient with yourself. The second thing is to please reach out. I am available. I am on my email all the time. And you can see in the faculty information area in Blackboard, you can see when I'm available for uh, office hours and you can drop in without an appointment. I also have at the bottom of my, of my email and also in that faculty info area, I have a link to my Calendly. And what that is is it's paired up with my calendar that I use at work so that you can see all the hours that I'm available. It is blocked out, I think, from like eight to five. So if there's nothing that's Monday through Friday, so if there's nothing that works for you in the availability on that Calendly, please email me right away and it, we'll, we'll find a time. I've met with students on Saturdays, Sundays, met with them late at night, early in the morning. I know you're super, super busy. So just email me and say, here are some times that I'm available to meet and what kind of meeting you want. Do you want to talk on the phone? Do you want Zoom? Do you want to, want to, do you want to try to meet at my office uh, at the Nampa Academic Building? I'm open to all of it. So just let me know. You don't have to start with an email that says, will you meet with me? Because the answer is absolutely yes, I will make it happen. I think my job is to be as available as possible. 
uh, which is why I try to answer emails as quickly as they come in, uh, unless it's on the weekend and sometimes there's a bit of a delay. But um, I want to give you everything that you need to succeed in this class. And if that means explaining an assignment in a different way, walking you through a brainstorm, re-explaining how an assignment works, I am. we all learn differently. And this class, I've, we've tried to create it in a way that will work with people who have a variety of learning, you know, orientations and preferences, but we can't hit everybody. And so yes, I can solve a lot in a 10 minute phone call, I promise you. And if it's, if that doesn't work, then we'll do another phone call. We'll do another phone call. So I am here for you. My job, I really see myself as a coach. Um, and that means I expect you to try your best to bring what you've got to the table. It's always better to turn work in so that I can give you feedback and we can keep moving forward. And also as a coach, it's to be honest with you and let you know where you are in the class, how th what things are going well, what things need to be, you know, that we need to keep working on. So, and feedback is one place that I find that students often want more one-on-one -on -one communication on. So I will leave you lots of comments. There'll be rubrics and that kind of thing, but I'm, always happy to talk to you about an assignment. I know um, I know for myself, there's a lot of times when I'm meeting with, with, um, with an instructor that I have as a student that I, in those conversations, more questions come up, things get clarified that I didn't even know were questions. It's just, it's just maybe the number one skill that you can have as a student is being brave enough to reach out to your instructor and just ask, what's going on? or even what can I do better or tell me what you thought about this assignment in your own words, right? So keep working with me. Also part of my teaching style and this I've been developing over, oh my gosh, like 30 years, you guys. I've been teaching a long time and I found that breaking things down for students one by one, we'll first, you know, we'll talk about the assignment, we'll do some brainstorming, maybe we'll put together an outline, we're going to uh, do a graphic organizer, which is a fancy way of saying that we're going to put together material from sources and start looking at it later on in the semester. Um, we'll be drafting, you'll be getting peer review, you'll get feedback from me. There's so many steps along the way. And I think writing is an iter iterative process that way. You put a little in, you see where you are, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. So participation is so important. I know one of the hardest things about being a student for myself is that fear of doing it wrong, getting your critique. Oh, it's really hard, but it's, you, you just gotta go for it. <clears throat> so there's being patient, there's reaching out, there's being brave. <laughs> I guess, I guess those, are, those are my top three things. Um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to spending time with you this semester. Ooh, um, what else, what else can I tell you? I've been at CWI since the very beginning. I was department chair, I think for four years. And now I'm, you know, I've, now I'm mostly a faculty in the English department. I also teach humanities as well as CWI 101 and the liberal arts capstones. So that's the range of classes I teach. I have a lot of history at this institution. So if you have other questions about about registration or struggling with you know all the different things that we struggle with as as people and as students please let me know please let me know because if i don't know the answer i will point you towards resources uh, at our college that can help you we're, we're a fairly new college but we're doing our best to support you in in all ways that we can and i'm i'm here for you so i guess that's my main thing i'm here for you I hope we have a great semester and get started with that week one folder. Let me know right away if you have questions. There's also a discussion board where you, called ask a question. So you can drop a question there. I subscribe to it and I'll get back to you there right away. So um, yeah, I can't wait to meet you and I can't wait to see what we're going to put together this semester, all the things we're going to learn. Have a good one.